What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Series 9. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves another awesome video for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a weakness policy Reggie Rock team alongside with Life Orb Top Coco and Coaching Halucha. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across the channel. But getting started with this team, in that top left corner, we have Halucha over here with that unburdened ability, which boosts his speed when he has no item, and that electric speed to give him a stat boost when electric surges out and about. Body press, taunt, coaching, and ally switch for his moveset, so he's going to be a great support mon to be paired up with this physical attacking top of Coco. Next Pokemon is going to be that Coco that we're going to be talking about. Life Orb adds this item do more damage. Electric Surge, so we can set that surge for its ability. Pair up with that Halucha, can do lots of work. We got Thunder Punch, Iron Head, Brave Bird, and Protect. So coaching is all going to go towards Tapu Koko, letting him set up and dominate the battle. Middle left is going to be Mammoth Swine, Oblivious ability with that Focus Sash, so we don't get one tap. EQ, Ice Oak Crash, Ice Sharp, First Turn Priority, and Protect as its final move. Right next to him is going to be a Pokemon to set Trick Room for the team, and that's going to be Bronzong. Steel and Psychic Typing over here with Levitate ability and Mental Herb, so he cannot be taunted right off the rip. Body press, iron defense to set up the bulkiness, bulldoze, proc weakness policy, and slow down opposing Pokemon, and Trick Room in order to set up that Trick Room. You guys already know that. Bottom left corner is going to be Reggie Rock, our weakness policy Pokemon with clear body as his ability. I, dude, that ability is so good. I can't believe he learns that. Just makes this Pokemon 10 times better. We got Rock Slide for Stab, Drain Punch, and Ice Punch, both for a coverage move and Protect as our final move. Then our final Pokemon is going to be the Sap Sipper Guja, who can actually pair well with the Reggie Rock or being able to swap out the Reggie Rock in case they have a heavy threat with a grass Pokemon. Say he has Venusaur in the sun, and we know he's going to go for a grass move. We'll just swap Guja in there, soak up that shot, and waste out a turn from there. Assault Vest has this item, and then that move set of Draco Meteor, Flamethrower, and Thunderbolt with Faint as its final move, which is pretty cool. One of the moves I don't think I ever used on a rank with double item before, so if we get to use it and show it off today. But guys, if you want to use the team for yourself, the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that rank double ladder and try to get some wins with this Weakness Policy by G-Rock and Life Orb Top Group Coco team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against a Metagross team right here alongside with Landorus, Thunderous, Grimmsnarl, Urshifu, and Entei. So he has no Tailwind, he has no Trick Room, so I can actually decide the speed of this battle. If I want to go in Trick Room, I can and rock out with Reggie Rock. Oh, that might be the play. Reggie Rock's looking solid here. I think I might go Trick Room. Lead that, go with the Trick Room? And I was thinking to go in Halucha and coaching, uh, and coaching, what's it called? Hmm. Coaching Halucha with the Tapu Koko. That could be a play. But then do I go Mamoswine with that? He does have Intimidate. Halucha's not bad. I do kind of dig it. But then he has Electric. Or then he has that Ground type. And I am going to rock out with this. Go Mamoswine. And then go in the final spot with the Gudra. Rock out from there. I'm digging it. Let's get after it. Try to get ourselves a win in the first battle. But guys, I want to apologize for the lack of uploads during this past weekend. I actually just uploaded a Pokemon Snap video, which was supposed to go out like a couple days ago, but I forgot to schedule it, I guess. I was away on a little boy's trip at AC, hitting up casinos, hitting up some beach bars and stuff. Good time with my boys. And I, I had a video scheduled for you guys, but I guess I, I never hit the schedule button. Everything was ready to go. So I came back, uploaded that thing right away. But we're back on the grind, and uh, daily uploads are coming from now on. He's going to lead the Lando, and the Intimidate is going to come out of here. I am clear body. That is awesome. That is awesome. I totally forgot about that. So I was a little worried about that Intimidate coming out there, but the clear body is here out and about. I am just going to protect here and set up this Trick Room. That's going to be play. And then I'll proc Wicked's Policy next turn. No problem whatsoever. No problem whatsoever, yeah. Let me get it. But yeah, I missed I missed recording Pokemon Sword Shield and Pokemon Snap. Like I, I was legit like sleeping in a hotel room. I was like, man, I wish I could wake up tomorrow and record some Pokemon videos for you guys. But I'm back, dude. I'm having so much fun. Like like I said, this game started like doing out for me. Oh, he's gonna die next. This game started to like duel out for me, and I wasn't really having a lot of fun with it. Like I say, like seven months ago. But then like the uh, DLCs and everything started refreshing it, and the game was so much fun. Like I've been having a blast with this game. I think ever since Crown Tundra came out, I've been really like enjoying recording for you guys, and I still am even to this day. So much fun. But uh, he's going to Dynamax the Landorus. The Landorus. And is he going to proc the policy for me? That could totally be an option. So I'm going to protect. Go ahead. Hit through and uh, proc my policy, baby. Thunder Wave coming out here. Oh, I just avoided it. Quake's coming out here. I'm levitated. He's going to proc my policy. Yo, thank you, buddy. Thank you. Thank you for proccing that policy. Now we're Dynamaxing. Now we're getting after it. Now I outspeed you. You're done. I'm getting after you. Uh, do I Iron Defense here? What's the play for me? I think I'm going to Iron Defense my, uh, my, what's it called? My Bronzong, the Dynamax, and drop a giant rock. Drop a big old rock. 
Rick Room out and about. So I only have to waste a turn pocketing a policy anymore, which is awesome. So that is a plus for this uh for this uh turn. Uh let's iron defense here. There's a few physical attackers out. And does he have more in the back? Let's see. You got oh oh we got some fit oh yo, you're all you're almost all physical. You're almost all physical, but I'm Dynamax here. Oh, Rock Ball's not super effective. Did I still drop the Hailstorm onto him? Yeah, I think I had to get after him. Do some damage this turn. It's a special defense boost, but hey, we're, we're all physical here. We're, we're, we're out and about. We're ready for this physical action. Special defense boost isn't doing anything for you right now. And then who do I have in the back end? I got the Mammoth Swan, who's physical. And then I have... Bu -bu -bum, who's the final mod? Guja, who's special. Okay. So if we get rid of this guy, we can be driving here. We're going to try to set up this uh, nice little iron defense here. It'll be lovely. It'll be dandy candy. See what happens here. Here comes the reflect. Setting up. So he's going to be able to eat up. I don't think he's policy. I doubt he's policy. He might be a soul vest. Let's just see what's going on here. Iron defense is setting up. Bang. Set up that D. Set up that defense, baby. Defense. Do -do. Defense. Boom, boom. Defense. <laughs> Here's my hailstorm. How much armor are we going to do with this thing? I'll take him out. Oh my. Reggie Rock. Reggie Rock, chill on him. Chill on him, Reggie Rock. I thought that wasn't going to kill him. Especially through the reflect. Not even a crit. I get what policy proc. I get it. But geez, I, was, I thought he was going to eat this up a little bit. Hey. Hey, that's how we get started. He thought he was going to eat it up too. Get him out of here. Made him turn off his console. And we get started 1 0 for today's video. Second battle coming at you guys. We made that first guy quit. Once the hailstorm hit and took out his lander, she's like, nah, I'm not having it. Turns off his console, disconnects the battle, and we catch that win. But we're going up against a drought Charizard team. And not going to lie, this team looks very overpowering. It looks very scary. Everyone knows the power of Charizard, especially in the drought. He has the nine tails to set the drought. He also has a Porygon 2 for Trick Room. Landers for Intimidate. Amoongus in order to like swap out Pokemon. Or not swap. In order to like redirect moves with Rage Powder and put Pokemon to sleep. And then he has Regilecki. Dang, man. I think we got to go here, though. I think we got to go Halucha and uh, Tapu Koko. Say he goes into Trick Room, we might want to bring Veggie Rock just in case. But I definitely want Mamoswine. Definitely want Mamoswine. And I'm thinking Gudra. Either Gudra or Reggie Rock. What do I think the play is? And I'm trying to see what Gudra can do. Gudra can't really do too much. So I think we're going to go Reggie Rock just in case he wants to end up doing Trick Room. We can have that Pokemon in the back end as a slower guy. But I really do think he's going to try to get that Charizard combo rolling, which I really, I, I honestly hope that is the case. I hope he tries going Ninetales and uh, Charizard, and I will just Dynamax my Tapu Koko right off the rip, coach him up, and get rolling from there. Let's see. What are you going to do? The Landers, I'm a little scared of because, again, we're physical attacking, and that is the only problem with this team. Like, I love Tapu Koko, but you give him a physical attacking uh, attributes or moveset, then Intimidate is always going to be a problem. Always going to be a problem. That's the best part. We do have coaching. The coaching is just ready to go. We get a plus one attack, plus one defense, and it's potential setup. So if he doesn't go into intimidate, I think we should be fine here. Or trick room. Trick room could be scary. Hey, that's not that's my one problem. It could be scary. Could do me dirty. Could do me real dirty. But let's see. Let's see. Show me the Charizard nine tails. Goes oh Lander. No, oh, get out of here. Leads the Lando. Okay. Totally fine. Leads the Landers. The lovely little Landers. Extra Surge is pulping. Might just die next year. I'm thinking about it. The boy's thinking about it. There's my seeds. I think I'm just coaching and Dynamax getting right after it. Intimidate coming out of here. Hey, knock it off. Buttery biscuit, dude. I hate Intimidate. It's so good. It is so good. It's got to be like the best uh, ability in the game, right? It's got to be. I'm going to coach up. And I think I'm just going to Dynamax. And I might just Airstream start taking speed. Hmm, what does this play? We can't, we can't even go for max signing. Or do I go for a defense boost? Defense boost isn't bad. Even speed boost isn't bad either. I don't want to get rid of Lando. Not trying to deal with it. Yeah, let's coach up and go from there. We do get a defense boost from coaching, but I, I would like another one. I would love another defense boost. I would love it. I don't see a Dynamax coming out from him. Maybe, actually? But I really don't see it. I would be kind of a little surprised. I think he's going to save it. I think he has Charizard Night Tails in the back end. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. But first battle went perfectly. We set up that trick room. He actually procced our policy, so that worked out a little bit better for us. Then we just dumped one shot, and he was just like, nah, ain't having it. Done. Wrap it up. But hopefully we can go 2-0 and in our first two battles and get rolling from here. But I, I, I knew this one from the beginning. It's going to be a little tough for us, I think. 
is a team that can, it's really, really strong. I kind of want to get my hands on Charizard team. I feel like I haven't played a Charizard team in a while, and I, already, I always have a good time. I usually get a winning record either go 2-1 and one with it or 3-0. and oh. We usually rock out from there. But he is going to end up Dynamaxing. You crazy, man. going to end up Dynamaxing Landers. Going for that uh, Max Quake. Which I might just Alex switch next turn, if that's the case. We should be able to eat up one Max Quake. Maybe two. We're going to be plus two on defense. We're not speed all day. We're going to be plus two on that lovely defensive one. Not much as Alex switch start wasting out turns. Here's my coach. Let's go. Let's go. Hype it up. Let's go. I'm coaching him. Let's go. You're going to do this. You're going to do that. That E-Web comes out. Slow down a little bit. Oh, my Lord. What is going on? Thing is so good. Just dumped on my Halucha. No problem. That was the fastest I've seen a Pokemon go down to an E-Web. It was like, you know, whole bar. Halucha is a lightweight, but we do gonna end up getting off the coach, which is huge, and defense boost. So, at this point, I think I'm just trying to stall out here. I think I'm just trying to stall out the Dynamax turns. See, he's got to go for... Oh, he goes for the air streak. Just for the airship. I guess he wanted to go after Halucha with that one. He gets a speed boost. He gets a lovely little speed boost. Um, hmm. Where should Jeans go out to from here? Hi, Mamo. That ground typing out here? Yeah, we're gonna bring out Mamo here. And I might just Ice Shard. Actually, I might not Ice Shard. Yeah, I, I, I honestly might Ice Shard. I want to EQ, but I think Ice Shard's going to be the play. Take off the Sing Sash, and then just Airstream it. Where do I get a defense boost? Oh my god, everything's like terrible with it. Um, I think we'll go for an, an, another Steel Spike. Uh, let's go back here. Let's try to do more damage to that thing then with my Mammoth Swine. As much as I want to go for an EQ. I'm going to go for an ISO Crash. Onto you. But I think he's rocking all of that. Screen. I think he's not going to be able to touch my... Uh, I think he's not going to be able to touch my, uh, my Mammoth Swine here. Yeah, he ends up withdrawing. And we have an Ice Crash going into who? Porygon 2. Oh, he's Buttery Biscuit. Really rocking Porygon 2. And I do have my Regilecki in the back. Which is nice. Here's my Ice Crash. We're getting after it. Get him after it. Get him out of here. Nah, that's not going to do much. A little bit better than I thought it would. But still, Spike's going up there. Did you think I was going to drop an EQ? No, not a chance. I think he just protect, protect. Um... I think we just Icicle Crash again. And then do I Airstream here or do I Lightning? Bum, bum, bum. What does Jeans want to do? I don't think he's doing too much damage to us. Like I said, we're, we're, we're pretty boosted. I don't want to get after this Porygon. I'm going to Lightning onto this Porygon slot. I'm going to double, double throw onto it. I am, I am wondering what he's going to do here. He might, go, he might go for that Quake finally, but again, we're plus two on defense. I just don't see him doing too, too much to my top of Coco. So I'm actually hoping he goes for that uh, Steel Spike, or not Steel Spike, that Quake onto me. And then if he wants to roll Trick Room, I have Reggie Rock in the back. I have Reggie Rock in the back. He does have Regilecki. Hmm. A little scary. A little scary. He's still full Pokemon. That's that's the problem. He's going to Ally Switch. And yo, it, it's going to seem like we read this Ally Switch hard. Actually, no, because... uh. The lightning is going to bop out of this. Quick's going to come through. He's going to be able to dodge a max move, but he is going to have to take an ice crash. Hopefully, we don't miss it. That does a lot more damage than I thought it would. We are able to eat, though, which is dandy. Now, I got to worry about him ally switching again. How much damage can this ice crash do? That's the real question. Doom dirty. Doom dirty. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yo, run it. Run it. Now, my max lightning slides over. That's huge. That is huge. Jeez, I should have did that a while ago. Should did that. I should did that last turn. That's probably why he guarded. it. Get him out of here. Yo, now it seems like we're a genius. Now it seems like we're a genius. Because I am a genius. Yo, what a turn. What a turn that we didn't even mean to do. I can Ice Shard, finish you off, um, and get off another turn with my Dynamax. Is he going to throw out Regilecki? Probably. Outspeed. Well, this one's, this one's tough. This one is going to be tough. He's going to E-Web. But Regilecki cannot hit my Mammoth Swine. That is huge. I love it. That's the real question. Is he going to throw that out? I hope he doesn't. He throws that out at other Pokemon. It's going to be worse for him. Let's see what he does. My Dynamax turns are over. He's going to throw out... He's going to throw out nine tails. Yo, I'm, I'm totally fine with this. I'm going to Ice Shard you down. And I should be able to outspeed that nine tails and get off a... Uh, get off a Thunderbolt or something along those lines. Is that, is that my play? I have to Ice Shard. I have to... I am Sash. I am Sash, which is huge, so... We're going to use our sash here. We're going to sash up here. 
Let's see how this rolls. Cause he, cause I, like I need the ice shard. Cause if not, he's gonna potentially recover and just screw me over in this battle. And that's my tough problem. And I think my Reggie Rock should be able to take on that Reggie Lucky one on one. I don't think I think we can be fine with that. Hmm. Alex Switch is coming through. We just Alex Switch. Alright, so we're gonna be able to ice shard and get off with Thunder Punch. If we can take out this nine tails, that could be lovely. Doing a little bit of damage here. Thunder Punch. Do him dirty. You outspeed me? My Tapu Coco? Alright, Sash is popping here. Alright, that was a good play by him. Hands down, great play by him. Man, dude, I really need that ice shard to connect. I, I'm more so surprised that that thing outsp outsped me. That that nine tails outsped a Tapu Coco. Oh, well, I'm minus one. I totally forgot I was minus one. Okay, that's fair. That is fair then. Um, ice shard's gotta come out here again. Do I read the ally switch? Hmm. I mean, I say we just, uh. No, we have to ice shard, because he's gonna take me out regardless. I'm gonna try to do damage, uh, either way. You know, I'm gonna pose that threat onto this slot. My ice shard there, and I'm just gonna drop a rock slide. Rock slide's gonna be play. Let's see how this, let's see how this happens. We're going for an ice shard regardless. He ally switches, he ally switches. Then we just do damage onto the, uh, the nine tail slot. And then Rockstar will eventually uh, pick up the KO. But he is going to be able to take on my Mammoth Swine here, which I don't like. I don't like one bit. He's going to protect the Pokemon. It's a good battle. This is a really good second battle. He's going to end up withdrawing the Porygon. And so if this thing is Sash, that's big for us. We're dropping a rock on him. We can do a decent amount of damage. So if any Pokemon Sash, I feel like it's going to be this Regilecki. That Ice Shard just did a ridiculous amount of damage. He's going to Will-O-Wisp. He's going to Will-O-Wisp. I could have went for an EQ there. That could have been a huge EQ. Rockside comes through. How much damage are we really going to do with this Rockside? Get him Regilecki. We're not Regilecki. Get him. All right, we can take out Regilecki, no problem. I can take out Regilecki, no problem, with an Ice Shard. Oh, my lord. Close battle. This one's going to be so good. Hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely Ice Shard. I'm dropping another Rock Slide. Hopefully, Reggie Lucky's not going to proper protect here. If he does, that's a smart play. But what I'm really worried about here is that uh, Porygon 2 in the back. Like, say we take out both these Pokemon, that Porygon 2 is going to be able to outspeed with my Mammoth Swine off the board. And just recover and stall out this battle. Tough news. Let's see. Make a move. Make a move. Dang, dude. That alley switch was so clutch. Ice Shard comes through. Regilecki's dead. And he missed the Heat Wave. If he misses this Heat Wave, miss this Heat Wave on my Mammoth Swine, please. Pokey guys, I get one. Everybody gets one. Heat Wave comes through, and it connects on both. Okay, so it connects on both. Mammoth Swine down and out. And this Rock Slide isn't going to be able to pick up the camera. Just tough news. Again, if this thing doesn't have Recover, that's a, that's my only problem. Oh, we get the KO. That crit? Wasn't a crit. We should get the KO. Ooh. Okay. Now, my one problem is, if this Porygon 2 has recovered, we lose this game. It all comes down to. It comes down to that Pokemon having that single move. Which I think he does. I think he does. I'm just a little booger. I'm just a little booger. I do have Drain Punch. Look at this little booger. Do we outspeed him? <laughs> what you mean? Oh no! Give me a crit here. Give me a crit, dude. We're burned. Oh no! Oh no! What you mean? What you mean, dude? What a battle! I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. He's gonna recover again, isn't he? You buttery biscuit. You buttery biscuit. I don't feel like dealing with this one. I know it's over for a fact. I mean, what moves does he have? I'm trying to think, what moves does he really have? Dude, I'm doing no damage. <laughs> he burned me and really, really did me dirty there. Oh, man. I really needed that, uh, that ice shot on that thing. I think Alice Switch did me dirty. And then he swapped. I guess a freeze right like freeze is like one of our only chances now we need long freeze he's gotta come after me now he's gotta hit me now make a move dude but come on you quit the battle i really don't want to quit the battle you gotta know i'm recording i need to win yeah i know i'm recording right now 
Let me freeze you up. Let me freeze you up. Give it to me. Ah, this one's over with. This one is totally over with. I'm going to run it. I'm going to give him the win. GG. Solid second battle. Went the distance. Came down to the wire, but we ended up losing in the end. Third and final battle coming at you guys. We're sitting at 1-1. One one. Our first battle went awesome. Our second battle actually went just as well. It was an awesome battle. Came down to the wire. We lost because of a recover. Like, Porygon 2 was on one health. All we needed was an ice shard. He ended up ally switching and just outplaying for the win. But this third battle, this guy has Tailwind with the Talonflame. It's Glaring Articuno. Tailwind with that uh, Whimscott. Then he also has Spectre Air, Nihilego, and Urshfu. You guys already know, we gotta go Trick Room here. We gotta rock out Trick Room. Going with uh, Reggie Rock. He has no Intimidate, which is huge. Um, who else do I bring here? Who else does Jeans bring here? Mamo Swine and Gudra? Or Mamo Swine and Coco could be good. I want Mamo Swine. Do I really want Gudra? I think Coco would be a lot better. So we're gonna end up bringing Coco and we're gonna rock him out for the back end. I'm gonna try to get Trick Room rolling here, get my Reggie Rock buzzing, and then have Coco for when the Trick Room potentially ends or just has a nice little back end Pokemon. Because he is way fast to be in the Trick Room. Like, he's like one, close to like 190? Maybe he is in 190. He flies. He, I think this one might be 197, and I know they get faster than that. But still, no need for him to be in the trick room. He's just going to go last. He's going to end up going with Nihilego and Whimsy Poo. And Whimsy Poo. And he's going to try taunting me, and I'm just going to set up a trick room. That's exactly what's going to happen. That is exactly what's going to happen, and I think I might just predict. I think I'm going to predict. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do I just drop a heavy ice punch? I played safe. I think I'm gonna play. I mean, he's rock, right? He's rock and poison. I might drop a nice punch here. And uh, no, I'm gonna play safe. I'm playing safe and just protect. Do what it does. I think he's gonna end up uh, throwing a little taunt at me. And then the mental is gonna pop. Let's see. He's gonna. He's gonna tailwind. He's going silly man. Yo, silly guy. What are you doing? Meteor beam coming out here. Am I blocking this? I'm dropping a mini beam. I think he just wants that special attack boost more so than anything. Yo, this dude's crazy. This dude's crazy. He's going after. Like they're both not very effective. Nice block it. <laughs> Trick room. Hey yo, tailwind, get out of my face. <laughs> I'm not dealing with it. So he set up a tailwind. That's solid first turn for us. We get the trick room popping. Um, just bulldoze. Rock policy and then Dynamax and do I knuckle? Do I hailstorm? Do I drop a rock? I'm gonna drop a rock. I'm gonna take on the Hilego. Start getting buffets for one on that slot. I think it's gonna be play. Battle was canceled. Yo, dude, get him out of here, yo. Quick, easy battles today. Canceling up and winning this. What is with this team? We had a quick video. This might have been my quickest video ever. Three battles and I don't even know how long. Like the first battle was probably about like, I say five minutes, maybe a little bit longer than that. Second one was long. That one went drawn out the distance. Hopefully you guys got to enjoy that battle. And third battle, we made that dude quit in like one turn. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. If you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.